The Silicon Power Bolt B750 Pro is a portable SSD that uses the new USB 3.2 Gen 2 connector and an aluminum casing. The Bolt series is aimed at the consumer market as it is made to be a plug and play portable storage solution and has some degree of impact resistance. In this review, we will see how it performs in both synthetic benchmarks and real world usage and take it apart and see what SSD is inside. The SSD used in this review is the Bolt B750 Pro 1TB variant. Speaking of the storage capacities, the Bolt B75 Pro is available in only 4 storage variants, 256GB, 512, 1TB and 2TB. No 3TB or 4TB, which is unfortunate. The 1TB variant can be bought right now for US$65, US which is a good price for what you get, which is 1TB of storage and true USB Type-C connectivity. This portable SSD is basically a regular SATA SSD that is inside a metal case with an adapter that bridges the SATA port connection to the new USB 3.2 Gen 2 connector. This type of approach for portable SSDs and hard drives for that matter has been used for a very long time. For a good reason though, it's successful and easy to be done. Moving on, the design of the SSD is good. The aluminum casing is simple and has a matte black finish with a good build quality. There are no uneven panel gaps, no rough spots on the paint surface and the entire SSD has a solid feel with no rattles or squeaking. The front side features a small silicon power logo that is shaped with chrome lines on the top that will create a sunburst pattern once the light hits them. It's a small thing that might go unnoticed at first, but when you do see it, it adds more depth and detail to the SSD design, especially given the simple shape of the aluminum casing. The packaging is good, for a packaging that is. The SSD is protected by a soft plastic tray and that's about it in terms of protection. But forget about that, let's talk about accessories and you do get useful things here which is a surprise as many portable SSDs barely come with an SSD inside of them, let alone accessories. You get a single USB Type-C cable, this is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, so don't get that confused. And you also get a USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable for older systems or just to cover every USB port available on consumer computers. Finally, you get a user manual that is made from actual paper and not just a QR code, that you need to scan, and that's about it from the accessories. In terms of output and input ports, you only have one, a single USB Type-C port located on the lower edge of the SSD. There isn't much to say here, it works like any regular Type-C port and fortunately it is pretty tight, so your cable will not accidentally disconnect if you move the SSD around. When the SSD is powered on, you have a medium-sized white activity LED. Fortunately, this LED is right next to the USB Type-C port and the silicon power logo, making it easier to spot. The disassembling process in the case of the Bolt B75 Pro is simple but not easy. It also serves as a good display of the good build quality of the SSD. On the back side of the casing, you have four metal screws that need removing. After those are removed, the back casing can be easily removed by hand. With the back cover removed, you get to see the truth behind this simple and good design. As I've said at the beginning of this review, inside the Bolt 75 Pro and inside many portable SSDs, it's a good old SATA SSD. The same SSD you will install in your notebook or computer. This SSD is unbranded and has an all black casing. Here you can already see the USB Type-C to SATA adapter. Removing it gives us more answers as to what we can expect from this portable SSD. This adapter uses an AS Media Mate controller, the ASM235CM. This controller is rated as very good and that's why it's being used on a lot of good portable storage devices. If you're wondering what this small chip is, well, this is a Winbond 25X10CLNIG and it's a flash chip microcontroller often used for notebooks and storage devices. So far, we're looking good in terms of build quality and parts quality, but what about the SSD? and what's holding it inside. The answer is simple, a clear plastic tray that hooks into the screw mount holes of the metal casing. A simple and effective system, but not really that effective in terms of dampening vibrations or protecting the SSD from impacts. Removing the casing of the SSD reveals a smaller PCB, which is the norm these days for SATA's SSDs. 
What you'll notice right away is the fact that this SSD has only a single memory chip even though it's a 1TB drive. The controller of this SSD is made by Silicon Motion and is the SM2259XT model. This is a 4-channel SATA controller capable of speeds upwards of 6GB per second. Another thing to note about this controller is that it supports direct to TLC and SLC caching which we will check when we test the SSD. The single memory chip used here is made by god knows who. Just kidding, this is an Intel 64 layer TLC NAND flash memory chip with the part number 29R08T2AWCTGA1. And as I was looking at this bare SEC PCB, I realized that I've seen it before, close to 3 years ago when I was reviewing the Silicon Power Ace A55 1TB SATA SSD, a review which you can find linked up in the corner or in the description. Testing the SSD will be done using the included USB Type-C cable and a direct USB Type-C port on the back of the motherboard, this way all bottlenecks from the testing system are removed. The SSD is already formatted and has a single partition on it in the XFAT format. On this partition it will have the user manual in a PDF format and a piece of software included by the manufacturer. The first test is Crystal Dismark, now at version 8. This benchmark is widely used for all types of storage devices, from SSDs, SD cards or USB flash drives. It's free, easy to use and gets frequent updates. And in this test, the SSD is consistently behind the Silicon Power Ace A55 1TB. And from the looks of it, the same SSD. In fact, unless the manufacturer changed something between these two SSDs, the speed differences is down to the adapter used for converting the SATA ports to that single USB Type-C port. When we talk about the writing speeds, as in the case with all storage devices, the speeds get lower at 347 MB per second to be exact. So far, everything looks good for a portable SSD. Even though it's using a SATA SSD inside, the performance only took a small hit from the USB Type-C adapter. The next synthetic benchmark is Atto Disk Benchmark, another popular benchmark that is widely used. The main differences here is that it offers a wider array of results. And in this reading test, the SSD sits right behind the Seagate Iron Wolf, while the Silicon Power Ace A55 1TB is 10 MB per second ahead. As for the writing speeds, the speed drops a few numbers but still maintains some level of performance. The SSD is now right behind its SATA sibling, the ACE A55. The final test is a file copy test, to see how this SSD performs in the real world. And nothing unusual to report, as with a total file size of 100GB, this SSD started the file copy process good, at over 277MB per second. However, my happiness was short-lived, as once the cache filled, the speed went down to 170MB per second, and stayed there until the end, which is impressive for such an affordable SSD. The Silicon Power Bolt B75 Pro 1TB is a good portable SSD that gets the job done with no thrills. It's a plug and play storage device and it looks good. Unfortunately, the SSD did not reach the advertised speeds, but it was close enough. For 65 US dollars, you cannot really go wrong with this SSD. It's well built, lightweight, and uses quality components inside. However, you will have to deal with the lower than advertised speeds and with the lower than average cache size. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.